Hi and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I would like to show you a set of journals that I made from the covers of a 20 volume encyclopedia that I got recently. I took some of these books apart already to make the journals. I took out lots and lots of um, cool images, like pages with cool maps on them or images of animals or places. I saved some of them to cut out the images and, and use them. There's another one with cool bird image. Um, there is one that is just full of maps. That is also very cool. I'm going to be using that a lot. And um, a lot of the papers are just the writing. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat today. Um, some of the, of the papers I will be using as a background for collages and um, art journal work. And, and as a background for cards and, and things like that. But um, today I would like to show you what these journals look like. I picked those four. Uh, number 15, 16, 18 and 20. Because the spines had a similar width. So I could practically make them all the same. They're, they each have three signatures. And they all are all made of basically the same sort of papers. They're just arranged in, in different ways. These books measure four and three quarter inches wide and uh, just, just short of seven inches um, tall. And the spine on these is one inch. There are some other volumes that have even wider spines, so I didn't want to use them for that set. This this was actually the first time that I made a set like this, that I kind of worked in in batches, where I said, okay, I'll, I'll just put together signatures all the same way, basically, and uh, make some, um, make a set of journals these are mostly for writing and for keeping things in. They are very simple. They have some machine stitching details, various kinds of papers. I used brown packaging paper for the inside covers. And I used a hidden binding technique on all of them. I wouldn't want to get rid of this, like cover up this beautiful spine. Just could not do that. There are some strips of papers. This is a ticket that can be torn off. The uh, fold is perforated with the sewing machine. I don't know if you can see that. But there are holes in there so you could tear it off. There are some little pockets. Here's a tag. Another one of my daydream tags. And some extra tickets on the other side. I used some of the outdated planner pages again for writing and there's some packaging paper, some more of this old um, um, book about trees from this, from this old book. I'm going to be turning this into a, a new journal. The cover was very damaged, the spine. It, it, Basically, the spine was non-existent anymore, so I didn't feel bad about taking this old book apart. There you see some images of branches and seeds. And this happens to be from a pine tree.
I made some little um, mini booklets out of some extra uh, like smaller calendar paper that's from 2012 and there's a pocket with just a piece of writing paper and I die cut some green leaves with the Tim Holtz tattered leaves dye this is um, handmade paper that I got for my birthday Here's some more of those three pages the main color uh, color uh, theme as you can see is um, browns and Um, red and those kind of neutral neutral colors and white the only other pop of color added were the green the green leaves there's some lined writing paper this is some drawing paper there's another side pocket some more packaging paper with uh, feathers Very simple, and this is a die cut moon. That's actually a self adhesive. I put that I'm a sticker on the back so that people would know that this is actually a sticker. Then there's some, some uh, there are some of these origami envelopes and a tiny little playing card. Just a little surprise. I made uh, a tiny little a scrap paper booklet for each of the four um, journals and they all kind of look different have different sizes different formats but basically all all of them have the same paper in them there's another one of those small pocket pages each one of the books has an image of a door like this but they're are all different doors and there's another leaf this paper this packaging paper especially that was in rolls so it kind of wants to um, curl a little bit but that's okay it's gonna get used to being flat eventually there's another piece of paper and a playing card that I backed with some black cardstock. I didn't measure this pocket, by the way. This was actually just really convenient that it fitted the playing card so perfectly. There's another playing card also with black cardstock on the back and another leaf there's a mini postcard that I stamped and cut out and a tiny little scrap paper booklet again there's lots of space for writing for gluing things in drawing and sketching like this could be used for anything I like I really like the spine on these and the other ones are basically all the same except for the configuration of the pages really I cut the exact same amount of pages of the various uh, different papers and I filled them all the same way I made sure not to put too much in them so that they wouldn't get too bulky and because I 
know that people from hereabouts, uh, I'm going to take these to a market this weekend. Um, they get kind of overwhelmed by too much embellishments. They don't know what to do with books that have a lot of um, stuff in them. So I thought maybe I could just make some very plain ones. So that people might know what to do with them a little bit more. I still have lots of these covers left. I think they would make great um, Christmas themed journals because of the red and gold covers. And I thought maybe of putting together some like journal making kits that includes a cover and some assorted papers and ephemera and just some fun stuff that you could use to make your own journal. But we'll see about that. And it's still um, quite some time till Christmas again. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching again. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, feel free to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you again soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.